Hello, ladies and gentlemen. We're we're still in it. We're going to the Berkeley Mansion, I guess. Oh, a spider. Your mansion, baby. Whoa, whoa. Whoa. Nighttime so do you know right. where to go, or do I need to still tell you? Oh, you can skim through it. If I need a hand, I will ask. But I just, believe... Just give Danny the cliff notes. Go up the stairs. Oh yes, the Dennis Woods. Oh, did you see that bad dodge? That was really cool. I don't want to say uh, a pixel, but... It was pretty close. Maybe too big. Whoa! We made it. Day three of our adventure. Dawn of the third day. Doom doom. One Danny remains. It still takes four to kill. Oh my goodness. Use the whip on I'm, him. He's below me. Unlike most. Get creative then. Unlike most of the Belmonts, he doesn't have the ability. Alright, so now. You're probably in Berkeley Mansion. Uh, looks like it's me. I'm already nervous from these jumps. Get out of here, you nerd. Oh, you have to get pieces of Dracula in this game? Yep. Don't I need a steak? We already got you the pieces of Dracula in Symphony of the Night, too. You have to get an oak steak, yes. I'm just doing this because the angry nerd said that you gotta do this. Because you'll just... I'm sorry. Okay. Uh, audio. You are looking for a gypsy that will sell you an oak stake for 50 hearts to reach the gypsy. First, you have to equip the white crystal so you can see the moving platform at the start of Berkeley Mansion. Uh huh. Got it. All right. Uh, try killing the knight with the whip. You already killed it. Then go right, killing a couple skeletons along the way. Up or downstairs? Up those stairs. Okay. But be careful of slimes that are up there. Yes. They are. They're locked in animation right now. Okay. Go to the left and you'll encounter a gargoyle. Yep, he's dead. Uh, <laughs> jump up the small platforms, killing skeletons as you go. Yeah, he's dead. Oh, oh. Gargoyle's back. Big heart. Whoa. Then kill the hearts? knight to the left. See, here's your platform. Uh, go up these stairs. I like these knights better than the ones in Rondo. Um, yeah. Do not jump on the higher platform to the right when you get there. Okay. Um... The higher platform... Is a fake. Yes. You, so you want- you need to go there, yes. Uh, keep going right, killing more skeletons. After kill- after going to the right, you reach a new area. Skeletons throw bones at you. Be sure not to touch the flame that the bone creates. Keep going right in this new area until you fall down from the ledge, then go down the stairs when you where you landed. Okay. Go to the left, then jump up onto the raised platform on the left and go up the stairs. Up the stairs. Go to the left, jumping over the spikes, oh, and no. you will find the gypsy by the oak stake. Sure. Who knows how many you have. Uh, go to the right from the gypsy, jumping over the spikes, go down the stairs, then go to the left and go down these stairs. Shortcuts, everybody. Now go... Down those stairs? There is a third set of stairs, go down them. Now go to the right. Beware, there are fake blocks at the base of the second column. Okay. Um, if you fall, you're going to have to go to the left until you reach a wall. Cool. So be sure to jump over those two fake blocks. After jumping over the fake blocks, go to the right and jump. go up the stairs. Then go to the right again. Jump up to the platform where you see a glowing orb. Equip the oak stake and hold up while pressing the whip button to throw the oak stake at the orb. Oh, we got him. We now possess Dracula's rib. Yep. If you equip it, you will hold a shield in front of yourself when you are jumping or standing still, but not when you are walking. Cool. 
cool. Yeah, but you don't have a whip anymore. Oh, you do have a whip. Yeah, I just can't see moving platforms, because I guess that's what the white orb did. Yeah. Leave the mansion. Oh my goodness, is that the only instruction? Well... I happen to know a shortcut. Go to the left to get out of the mansion more quickly. You should deliver your fall through those fake blocks. Oh, I'm way ahead of you. Um, after you fall, go to the left until you reach a wall. Then go up one flight of stairs. Until you reach a wall. I don't want to see what you need to do. Six. Still looks like a wall to me. Um. And go up the stairs at the wall. Gotcha. Yeah. From there, go to the left, jump down to the lower platform. Yeah, this is the start of the. Day. Then jump to the platform on the left and fall through the hole in the floor. Yeah, okay, we're good. Okay, cool. Left or right? Then you can go to the left to leave the mansion. Okay, ba Berkeley Mansion to Algebra Zero or whatever. Algebra. Algebra. Algebra Zero? Uh, from Berkeley Mansion, you should go east. Which is right. Are you serious? That's where I came from. Back into Gobi Woods or whatever? I already have the chain whip. Uh, you should be standing in front of Berkeley Mansion, where you got Dracula's rib. Go to the right to reach Dennis Woods. Go east, killing skeletons as you go. You will find a platform that goes up above some poison swamp. Jump on the platforms to reach the upper level, being careful of the skeletons. Keep going to the right, and you will reach an area with some tarantulas that throw spiderwebs at you. Yeah, this is where we came from. Oh, the fence against the ledge. Just keep moving. Keep going to the right, and you'll reach a cave that is called Daffy's Path. Right in there. We're taking the other exit out of the path. That's cool. All right, I know where we're going. We're fine. You'll know you're in the right. Oh, so this is me saying this, not the guide. Uh, you'll know you're in the right place when there's more tarantulas. And in a, it's in another forest. Oh yeah, I know exactly where that is. <laughs> ah. At least they weren't nighttime monsters, and they would have hurt more. They really would have. Also, if you couldn't tell, once again, ladies and gentlemen, we are literally playing this game with a guide, because apparently it's complicated. Anyway, um... Complicated, no. Convoluted, yes. Ooh, nice dodge, me. Uh, okay, so... Ziva to Rover Thank Mansion. You. Oh. Buy some helpful items in Algeba and get a new crystal, then head to Rover Mansion. So, in Algeba you can buy garlic and laurels. For how much? The Crappy ass shield? Doesn't say. Okay, no worries. Um, I guess I think you're just supposed to keep going right until you get to Algeba. Pray that it's right here. Wonderful. Um, the garlic can be found if you go through a door near the sign at the entrance of town and throw holy water at the floor. Oh my god, why did he equip this again? Is there a place to, to rest and heal? Oh should, my god. Maybe? I, I should have gone there first. It's gonna hit nighttime and then I won't be able to. And I'm gonna cower. Will you buy it? some garlic? Sure, why not? Um, garlic can be used to get some free items, so you might want to get some. What? What? Okay. Okay. That's fine. Uh, to get laurels, go to the east side of town and go up the stairs. It's gonna be nighttime. I won't get to heal. Where's, where's the church? Are there fake floors? It didn't say in the guide, so there might not be. There's no church here. Oh, we're fucked. We're so fucked. Oh my god. Well, there's other floors of the town, Danny. I'm panicking, Kevin. It's gonna be nighttime before I find it. Um, then go into the door there and throw holy, holy water at the floor. Mm. Well, now we just have to wait. All I have to do is just sit in the corner and press the B button. Or what is it in this one square? Oh no, now there's zombies. Oh, I think that was a witch. A witch? A oh, witch is...
like Zoink Scoob. I guess we'll find out if all dogs go to heaven, eh, Scoob? This is not good. The only way I know to heal oh, no. is either by leveling up or church. Sure. Maybe leveling up. I might as well cast up find out. Yes. Danger. Averted. Averted. Yeah, it wasn't gonna walk away from you. Oh, oh. You're here to avenge your friend. Alright. I can go down these stairs in one try. So in here? I think it's in there. Yeah, well, let me go. That makes no do, sense. Do, 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 do. I might as well keep killing. Why not? It'll be sadder when I ultimately lose all the hearts, but... Uh... That's why you just get more. It's better than just staring at nothing, waiting for this horrible night to have a curse to end. Now this is a good farm, what the heck? They're spawning so quickly. They look like lion people. Are they they're obviously not because they're not cowardly. <laughs> Maybe they are, they only come out at night when it's safer. And this guy with a whip is just... What if these were town people? Just wanted to come give you a big ol' hug? Not that they're necessarily friendly, but like, they're just transformed. At night they become like mindless beasts. They just want to give you a smooch. So in the morning, come morning time, uh, there won't be anyone left in this town. I didn't know you hated love, Danny. I just want to give you some loving. Uh, that's okay. They can keep it. Or alternatively, they're just... Green with envy. Of my cool whip. Wham! That was a jump swing. Wham! I'm the first Belmont to ever do that. This is true. Oh! That's not the only thing that was vanquished tonight. <laughs> The zombie population has drastically been reduced tonight. Alright, so what is in here? Laurels? The laurels! Uh, holy water at the floor! Why does every house need to have a secret floor? Why not just have someone sitting in a house be like, Get out of my house. Well, they gotta hide their laurels from Dracula somehow. I mean, they're selling them to this me. This is probably gonna be your favorite item in the entire game, Danny. What's it do? It makes you temporarily invincible. Oh, at what cost? Or is it a one-time use thing? It's, it also says that you, wanna, you might want to buy some now. I don't know if it's implying that we need to buy like one or. Oh, yeah, oh they are temp they are but usables. I, I don't know how to actually reach them to use them. That's something we can figure out later. Where's my next destination? Get the blue crystal. Okay. You won't be able to go to the next part without the blue crystal, so go to the upper part of town. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. Get those serious Belmont calf yeah. workouts going today. And find the gray man in the upper left. On the far- oh, man. Talk to him and he will give you a blue crystal in exchange for your white crystal. You're not an old man. There he is. You look kind of suspicious. I'd like to exchange a white crystal for a blue one. Uh, I guess I don't get a <laughs> say in the matter. Oh, guess what? Uh, according to this, there is no church in Algeba. Yeah, that's okay. We leveled up. Um, so there really isn't anything else to do in town. If you bought some garlic, you should use the right-hand exit to leave Algeba. You will be in Camilla Cemetery. Use a garlic 
and a gypsy will appear. Talk to him to get the silver dagger. It costs one heart per use. Does it say where to use it? It just says use it. Okay, does it say how to use it? It literally says use a garlic and an gypsy will appear. Uh, that's not garlic. Oh yeah, thank you. What up? I'll give you this silver knife to save your neck. Oh, cool. So you, uh, you got that. Then go the left. Then go to the left to go through Algeba. You'll reach the Algeba Woods. Keep going to the left until you find some stairs. Go down their stairs, then go to the right. Okay. Staircase in the woods. Easy. I never did see what was in that middle building. But you know what? I'm not interested. Ooh! Oh, I forgot we were playing a Castlevania game. <laughs> These that spider reminded you you were playing a Castlevania game. Hey, Belmont. Welcome to the franchise. Uh, equip my shield, please. That has not helped me a single time. It just looks cool to have. Down staircase to the right. Excuse me. You'll be in a cave. Go to the right and jump onto the lower platform. Mm -hmm. Uh. You will see a block to the right, jump on it, then jump to the upper level, go to the right, then jump down below, go to the right again. Uh, looks like both exits lead to the same spot. Uh, you will be at Yuba Lake, equip the blue crystal, and kneel. I mean, obviously. Oh. I got <laughs> interrupted. After a few moments, a path below the lake will appear. Jump down and don't go down the stairs. Okay. Just go to the right. Jump down, but don't go down. Uh, mansion 2, alright. You will arrive at Rover Mansion. Going up the stairs, going down uh, the side of the stairs. Find the gypsy! Yes. Uh. Go right from the entrance and go up the stairs. Damn it. Mm hmm. Then go to the right and hop onto the first platform. Perfect. Then walk off the right side of the platform to land on some blocks below. There appears to be a wall to the right, but it's actually fake, so just jump to the right to land on the lower blocks. Uh, continue going to the right, jumping over the water, go past the stairs, then jump onto the platform over the water. Up the stairs? Mm -hmm. Up both stairs? Uh, be sure to jump over the moving platform so you don't get pushed off into the water. Yes, up all the stairs. Okay. Nah, that was risky. What are you thinking, Simon? Um... Frames? Oh, these are tight. They are pretty sweet. You will, I think you will eventually... Is that the boss? Dude. I 
think that might be where the Dracula part is? Did you know if you look in the background right there, Danny? You can see skeletons hanging from the ceiling. Oh my god. Okay, well, here we go. I'm so glad there's no fall damage right there. Okay, so we missed, missed something. It. Um... So... Do you need a wooden stake here? Yeah. Every... You have to hit him every okay, time. Okay, so we're gonna, we're gonna retrace our steps here. Yes. There was... So go back to where the... The fake blocks were... That you jumped through to land. Yeah. That guy clipped me, I was gonna be so mad. Speedrun tactics. It's a bit of a damage boost right there to get the skeleton. Um, yes. Okay, can can you go into the right, jumping over the water, go past the stairs, then jump onto the platform over the water. Past the stairs, John. Alright. We on it. <laughs> you have to use them to get up. Them doge blocks are coming right at you. <laughs> oh my god. You have to jump over the spikes. Well, now I gotta do it all over again. And I don't have any hearts. Right? Right. At least the checkpoint's me here. It's actually incredibly nice if it's checkpoint me here. I forgot what, uh, rid of your whip. Uh... Well, that... That's... A problem, because you don't have any hearts now. <laughs> no, I don't want to invest in your crappy steak, dude. Well, you do need the steak. I know, but I can't. Oh my god, guy. Okay. I need to swing my... It's a trap. It's a trap. That's it. Game over. I can't even jump and swing. This is it. This is the end of the road. This is how all the Belmonts die. Trapped next to an old man trying to shove a stake up their butt. That's a really tight jump right there. <gasps> Alright, now to farm 50... Souls! Alright, there's four. Seems like a good place to stop. I'm gonna get the 50 souls off camera, guys. Yep, you heard him. Thank you for watching. We'll see you in the next 50 one. 50 souls, like Dark Souls. Yes. Uh, and uh, can we get a soul counter? Coming up next. The bottom left, please. Boss number two, guys. Stay tuned. Electric Boogaloo. Goodbye.